It is the Golden Motors Post Game Report. Casey just there here with Coach Jenkins. Fletcher gets a win over South Lafouche, finishes their regular season 9 0. Coach, you guys uh, set the tone earlier on the opening kickback for a touchdown. You got a defensive score as well. Offense moved the ball well. Uh, it's a good performance from your team today. Well, that's the thing we kind of pride ourselves on. We think we have a complete football team this year. We really found ways to win games in all phases. Uh, our, our special teams have been lights out, uh, especially in a return game. Uh, we knew that we had lost a pretty good kicker, but the sophomore, Delanoville, has kind of filled in and done a great job for us this season. And uh, I think that's the one thing. I, I know our defense has gotten tons of headlines throughout the year, but I think quietly, offensively, we've been able to do what we need to do week in and week out. Coach, your, your defense was challenged today. They moved the football. They got in plus territory four or five times. They got in the red zone a bunch of times. You bent, but you didn't break very often. Talk about that. No doubt. I think those guys, uh, I, th I thought South LaFouche was going to come into the game. I knew that uh, Coach Young would have a, a plan in place, and they, they their backs was, were against the wall. They needed a win. I knew his kids were going to play hard because uh, South LaFouche plays hard year in and year out. So I knew their kids would be up for it. I thought offensively they had some good pieces. Uh, and, and, and we didn't play well at, at times on defense, but I thought when we needed to, we kind of bowed our neck and was able to make some plays. And uh, probably none was bigger than on that first drive and actually start gets the interception in the end zone. I'm going to actually be the coach and I'm dad here. Uh, you, we were talking on the radio broadcast. Your boy is so much more poised back there, man. He, he's leading the huddle. He's running with confidence. He's a heck of a football player, man. What, what do you see with Zach back there? He is. Uh, you, you, hate to, you hate to be that way, but uh, at the end of the day, he has been on sidelines his whole life. Uh, he's, he's been waiting for this opportunity for, for 17 years. Uh, this is what he's been in the backyard. Uh, dreaming about, and he's played all of these games so many times in his head uh, that it's not even funny. And it's, it's cool this year, really, with John Trey being on the sideline, because when I came back to lunch at John Trey, was our starting quarterback, and Zach was running around pretending John, he was John Trey Kirkland in 2016 winning the state championship. So it's been a, a, a great run, not only as a coach, but as a dad. It's special. Uh, I, I told people at the beginning of the year, if any coaches say they coach their sons the same as everybody else, they're lying. Uh, John Trey could probably uh, vouch for that. He says he's never seen me coach anybody as hard as I coach Zach. But uh, I know how much pressure he has on him uh, to be great, and uh, he has surpassed all expectations this season. 9 0, the bye week coming up. Your boys are just telling me they don't care about 9 0. They know that the next month is what matters. At Lutcher, man, it's, it's about what happens in the postseason. What do you guys got to work on before now and then to get to the dome? That is definitely the, the unfortunate part about Lutcher. Uh, and, and it's great in so many ways. Uh, our kids know it. Uh, our kids just went 9-0. and That was the sixth time in school history that a team's going 9-0 and in a regular season. We've got fewer undefeated regular seasons than we have state championships at our school. <laughs> wow. uh, and, but our kids know that expectation is if you want to be remembered in Lutcher, you've got to find a way to put your year on that intimidator in the end zone. So our guys have been locked and focused all year long, and that's probably the one thing that I can tell you I'm the most proud about this football team. I know a couple of weeks I went on your radio show you know, after the Edie White game, and that was one of the things that you asked, how you keep those guys up and ready to play each and every week. Well, when your goal is to play on December 13th, uh, it's real easy to, to, to focus them in and tell them that every day is about getting ready for December 13th. Very good, Coach. Congratulations. This is Golden Motors Post Game Report. Coach Jenkins, man, y'all be safe getting home. Thank you.